we would like to ask you to rise, remove cover, and face the flag for the playing of today's national anthem by our very own OPSU Spirit Band under the direction of Miss Charlotte Lewis. Thank you so much. PTCI, along in conjunction with Panhandle State University, welcomes you to our coverage of OPSU Athletics today. We are at Anchor D Stadium on Carl Wooten Field for some Sooner Athletic Conference action here as the Lions College Scots have come to town to take on your Oklahoma Panhandle State University Aggies. Aggies come into this with a one and three overall record, one and two in the Sooner Athletic Conference. They are coming off their first win of the fall season as they defeated Texas College 68 to nothing on the road last Saturday. Team captains. Heading out. Number seven, Jay Shone Brown. And also number 26, Anthony Taylor. Headed out to midfield. Lion College looking for their first win of the season. They are 0-3 right now. Panhandle State wins the toss. They will defer to the second half, as most teams do these days. So it will be Lions' choice. They're going to receive. From your viewpoint, they'll be receiving on the left, going right. We are just about ready for kickoff. As We'll see the Aggie defense on the field first. Kickoff team heads out there. 
kicking off for the Aggies. It's actually a local kid from here nearby, Guyman. Five foot ten, 165 pound freshman from Guyman, Oklahoma. Number 65, Javier Senecio. Referees make sure everybody's ready for play. There's the whistle. Here's the approach and the kick. And we are off ball through the end zone, touchback. It will be Scott's ball at the 25 yard line, first and 10. Aggie starters on defense, as we were given, hopefully we've got everybody right here. On the defensive line at defensive end, a 6'3", 223 pound sophomore from Cedar Hill, Texas, number 11, Kobe Geeter. At nose, a 5'11", 238-pound freshman from McKinney, Texas, number 95, Yarman Evans. And at the other defensive end, a 5'10", 259-pound senior from Killeen, Texas, number 44, Matt Hernandez. We'll get you the rest of the Aggie starters. At quarterback, it's Isaiah Bradford, a junior wearing number five for Lyon College, takes the snap from the shotgun, throw outside on the quick slant, knocked away. And to the ground by the Aggie cornerback, number nine, Antonio Vaughn. He's a six foot, 160 pound senior from Detroit. Other DBs, a six foot, 163 pound freshman, number 43, Kavia Reese. A 5'11, 189 pound junior from Terrell, Texas. Number four, Jaquavian Daniels. And we are ready for second down and 10. There's a snap, drops back to pass, quick throw, slot receiver. Finds a man in the gap, had, had them on three levels there, about five to seven yards apart. It'll be a first down for the Scots, as that was caught by John David Horn, number 15, a junior wide receiver, 5'10", 185 pounds for the Scots, first and 10 at the 46-yard line. Scots quickly to the line, trips to the top side of the formation. Snap, handoff right up the middle, spins off the first tackler, gets past midfield before he's brought down. That was Bradley D, a six foot, 215 pound red shirt junior. Other starters for the Aggies at defensive back, a six foot two, 202 pound junior from Jackson, Mississippi, number 24, Jordan Hunter. Second down. Just under five yards to go, or right at five, actually. Quick throw outside on the inside receiver. Gets a couple blocks down the sideline. May have a first down. We'll see where they spot him. Looks like he'll be about a yard and a half short as he is just shy of the Aggie 45-yard line. Also starting at free safety, a 5'9", 152-pound senior from Houston, number 10, Warren Dillon. So third and short, a long one to go. They try to draw the defense off, look to the sideline. Quarterback under center, quickly runs the quarterback sneak and looks like he's got the first down easily. As Aggie head football coach, Bob Majeski Mentioned that that is the biggest weapon they'll have to stop for Lyon College is Bradford, both as a runner and a thrower. Starting linebackers for the Aggies outside, six foot two, 220 pound senior from Memphis, Texas, number 26, Anthony Taylor. He was one of the team captains as well. So first and 10, Aggies come on a blitz, flag on the play. Throws a fade down the sideline, too far out in front, no good. Aggies may have been off sides there as some of their blitzers came, may have came across the line. We'll see what the call is. And it is offsides on the Aggies. That was called on the outside linebacker or six foot one, 187 pound sophomore from Denver. 
Number 36, Cameron Dickerson. The middle linebacker is a 5'9", 179-pound senior from New Orleans. Number 25, Daquan Charles. So first and five for the Scots at the Aggie 36-yard line. There's a snap they'll option to the short side, pitch outside, and nicely played there as he's pushed out of bounds after a short gain. I believe that was Taylor from his outside linebacker position. Or maybe have been Jordan Hunter, the defensive back, that made the tackle there. Second down. One yard gain on the play. Second down and four to go. Trips to the wide side of the field and they draw the defensive off, defense off. And so that's gonna be a free first down for the Scots as they move deeper into Aggie territory. Ball will be marked at the 29 yard line. First and 10. They'll trips to the shallow side. Pistol formation, handoff up the middle Going to be dragged down near the 25. So a gain of about four yards for D. Several Aggies in there on the tackle. Quickly back to the line. Second down and about six to go. Hand off to D again. Breaks the first tackle. Gains a couple yards on the play. As Charles had him in the backfield, but just couldn't hold on. So third down and two from the 21 yard line for the Scots. There's a snap, hand off to D again, and he's gonna be shut down on that one. Couple of Aggies there to make the initial stop, Dickerson, and then also number 99, Name McMillan, who had came in at defensive tackle. He's a 6'2", 282-pound freshman from Miami, Florida. So it will be fourth down. Scott's line up, they'll go for it here. Too, probably too long for a field goal, definitely too short to punt. Man in motion, quick pass outside, it's tipped. Dickerson got a hand on it, and it's a turnover on down to the Aggies. They'll take over first and 10 from their own 21 yard line with 10-18 left here in the first quarter. Aggie offense will come directly to the line. Aggie quarterback today is a 5'10", 155-pound sophomore from Winfield, Kansas, number two, K.C. Randall. Crandall makes a handoff throw outside. Caught down the sideline at the 30 at the 40, makes a cut, and finally brought down past the 45-yard line at the 47. They actually have a different starting quarterback. It's... 5'11", 196 pound freshman from Greenville, Texas. Number 16, Brandon Stevens. That was not the listed starter. Quick throw out there and it's an Aggie first down. There's a snap, handoff straight up the middle, past midfield, nice gain on first down as they'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. That was Jamalrian Jones on the carry. He'll get another carry, finds an opening, pass 
to Scott's 40 all the way down to the 36 yard line. First and 10 for the Aggies. Aggies will substitute at tight end. Or at slot receiver, that's number 18. LaPrinston Dixon, who just came into the game. Two split to each side. Quick throw, caught in the slot, breaks into the open. He's at the 15, the 10, the five, and dives forward, puts the ball out. Touchdown, Aggies. Jalen Pardita catches that one in stride. Beautiful pass by Stevens, and the Aggies are on the board just like that. Aggies will line up for the point after. Scott's trying to get one off late. Senecio with the kick, it's up and good. 8.53 left in the first quarter. He hit that one off of the scoreboard, which is quite a ways back behind the goalpost. Aggies lead seven to nothing. Aggies in position to kick off again. Senecio ready. Referee whistles the ball ready for play. And here's his second kickoff. Got a hold of that one too. Lands midway through the end zone. So another touchback. It'll be first and 10 for the Scots at the 25 yard line. Aggie defense back out on the field. Gave up some yards last, but shut them down late. Hand off up the middle. Breaks through a, the first set of tackers. Ball's loose. Aggies come up with it. There was a flag on the play. Antonio Vaughn recovered it. Referees discussing exactly what the call is there. I'd say with both teams staying on the field that this must be a penalty on the Aggies. Little clapping coming from a couple of the Lion players. And it's a personal foul face mask, so that's going to be a 15-yarder. So that will give the Scots a first down. All the way up to the 45 yard line. As that call happened about five yards down the field. Bradford in the backfield. He'll have a back to each side. Hand off and just stopped in the backfield. Shut down immediately. As 
Matt Hernandez busted through there. Gave us a little flex after that one. Several other Aggies in there to help out as well. He's the one who got there and shut that down in a hurry. It's going to be second down. And 13 yards to go for the Scots. They'll split two to each side. It'll drop back to pass over the middle. And that one just a little too out in front. He tried to catch him on the deep, deep post there. Aggie in front, Aggie behind. And like I said, the ball was just too far out in front, so it's going to be third and long. Aggie's trying to get the ball back and see if they can put some more points on the board. Trips to the near side. Single receiver up top. Drops back to pass. He's looking to that trip side. Throws a deep ball. He's got a man out there. Ball too long. Incomplete. A couple of Aggie defenders there, but that ball was thrown just a little bit shorter. He, he had enough space to catch that. But it's going to be fourth down and 13. Aggies are looking to get some decent field position here. Wide receiver Ryan Acosta, number 13. 5'9", 189-pound sophomore out of El Paso, Texas. Back to receive the kick. Low snap. Barely gets it off and didn't, didn't get a very good kick as that one bounds near the 40-yard line. It's going to go dead at the Aggie 36. So with 7.22 left here in the first quarter, Aggies with some good field position trying to put a second score on the board. Man in motion across the formation for the Aggies. Quick throw out there to him. It ball's tipped. He goes down and catches it, though. As that was La Princeton Dixon again, number 18. He's actually the one who had that the first catch on the first drive of the game. I couldn't see it from as it happened on the opposite side. So he's had a good start to his day already. Second down, about five yards to go for the Aggies. Quarterback keeps on the read option. He'll run it up past the 45, knocks the first defender down, and he's finally brought down at about the 49-yard line. And Stevens getting the cheers not only from the stands but the sidelines from his teammates. As they like the way they bar he barreled through that first defender. It's going to be first and 10 for the Aggies right at their own 49-yard line. There's a snap, back to pass. Voids the defender, throws it short to the running back. Jones makes the catch. He's across midfield to the 47 yard line. So second down, six yards to go. Back out in motion, quick swing pass to him, avoids, gets one block, avoids two defenders, still on his feet near the 40 yard line. That was number 29, Willie McCline, with that catch and run. A 5'9", 179 pound junior from Etabina, Mississippi. That's gonna be enough for an Aggie first down. The Aggies have Done a great job here earlier on being able to move the chains and obviously get into the end zone in that first drive, trying to get back-to-back -back scoring drives. 
That offensive line doing a fantastic job as well. Hand off to 40, the 35, the 30. Spins through the de defender and finally wrangled down at about the 22-yard line. Another first down for the Aggies. That was Klein on the run, McCline on the run there as well. Shotgun formation, a pair of the backs in the backfield. Makes a handoff, throws outside. And that one's going to go out of bounds backwards. I think they're going to lose a few yards. Does that look like that was a lateral? Be ruled as a lateral. Looks like they are going to move it back to the 27 yard line. He tried to get that out to his receiver, Charge A. Hunt, number six, who had lined up in the backfield. The pass was too far, too high, and too far out. So Aggie's in a difficult spot now here. Second down. They'll split two to each side. Jones fakes the handoff to him. Quick pass outside, up to the 15 to 10, and finally brought down out of bounds at about the six yard line. Another catch there by Dixon. And he easily gets them out of that tough position with the catch. He'll come out as number 80, Jesus Rodriguez, comes in in his spot. First and goal for the Aggies. From between the five and six yard line, handoff, breaks it outside, dives forward, didn't quite get in, he's inside the one. Jones with that final surge and reach. They're at about the half yard line now. They'll bring in the heavy set now here. Tied in, Jar Javaris Barnes, number 83 in. They'll bring their full back in as well. The defensive end, Cameron Dick Dickerson, number 36 in there at fullback. Quarterback keeps it, Stevens is in for the touchdown. Aggies on the board again here in the first quarter. So Aggies will line up for the extra point. Number 64, Lance Coronado is the long snapper. Number two, Casey Crandall, the holder. Cenicerio sends that one through as well and hits that off the big screen too. He's got a big leg and the Aggies have a big lead, 14 to nothing with 3.22 left here in the first quarter. Senecio ready to kick off again. Ball blows off the tee. So they'll reset. I do want to mention, didn't have a chance to mention this offensive line who has just given Stevens and the running backs just all kinds of time. Number 58. Kayla Monchando, number 70, Lewis Dunn, number 67, Derek Smith, number 68, Tracy Todd, and number 61, Nicholas Kim have done a great job. Big return, going to be finally brought down at the 49-yard line.
by Kyle Meister, a freshman from defensive back from Wiley, Texas, but good starting field position for Lyon College. So the Scots line up, two splits to the top, one to the near side. They'll hand it off, trying to get outside. Breaks two tackles in the backfield. Gains two yards on the play. Kobe Geeter was back there first, but couldn't quite bring him down. So two yard gain, second down, eight yards to go. Under three minutes left to play here in the first quarter. Aggies is dominating right now. Aver Aggies averaging almost 11 yards a play so far. Holding line to about three. Pass out in the flat to the running back. He finds a gap, gains some yards. Falls forward near the first down. Looks like they, they're gonna give him forward progress up to the 39, that'll be enough for a first down. Snap, quarterback keeps it, trying to find a gap, and boy, he doesn't find much, does fight his way forward for a few yards inside the 40 about the 37 yard line. They'll mark him at the 38, between the 38 and the 37. So second down and about seven yards to go. Clock down to three, gets it off. Quick pass inside. Inside receiver didn't know the ball was coming as Horn was still looking down where he was running his route, had not turned his head when the ball went skipping by off the turf. Third down. The Aggies with an opportunity to possibly get off the field. Of course, Scots are kind of in that middle territory where it's Hard to punt and hard to kick a field goal from here too, so it may have two downs left. Bradford takes the snap, drops back to pass, lets one go over the middle, he's got a man open, bobbles it, and takes it on in for the touchdown. That is Timothy Young, Jr. A red shirt freshman receiver with the grab. Broke free from his defender and was wide open when the pass came his way. So the Scots are on the board. Reese Stang, the kicker, puts it through the uprights. No, they'll say outside. So with 108 left here in the first quarter, we've got the scoring machine going as Panhandle leads Lyon College 14 to six. So the Aggies will set up for the first time to 
receive the kick. Number 29, Willie McCline. And also number 84, Clayton Stallones. I haven't mentioned him yet. They're the two deep men. Stallones, a 5'9", 174-pound junior from Belleville, Texas. And here's the approach and the kick by Stang. Ball goes through the corner of the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Aggies ball, first and 10 at the 25-yard line. We're talking about that offensive line and how well they've done on both drives so far. Really been all around well, good play from the offensive side of the ball. Coaching staff for the Aggies, as we mentioned, head football coach is Bob Majeski. His offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach is Christian Escobar. Their offensive line coach is Trevor Wilno. Defensive backs is Tevin Lakes Sr. Defensive line is Keith Pullman II. Wide receivers is Jason Herchick. And assistant football coach Devontae Corbett and student assistant Justin Hart. There was a holding penalty on the kickoff, but that was declined. Aggies will take over first and 10 at the 25 yard line. Breaks the handoff, looks to throw outside. Found Dix down the sideline past the 40 where he's knocked out of bounds at about the 43. First and 10 for the Aggies. Stevens has really found him a favorite receiver. Dix with four catches for 63 yards already. Handoff in the backfield, had to avoid defenders. He's gonna be dropped for a loss. That was number 23, Malik Hamilton. 5'9", 183 pound junior from Longview, Texas. Gets a carry there. It'll be second down and 12 for the Aggies. Steven seven of eight for 109 yards and a touchdown so far. Trips to the near side. Handoff. Cuts up the field, gets near midfield to the 49. And for Hamilton's knock to the ground. So it'll be third down. And that is the end of the first quarter. The Aggies up here as we head to the second, 14 to six. So as we look at some of the first quarter stats earlier, we talked about the Aggies averaging almost nine yards per play. Still pretty close to that average at 10 and a half. Lions averaging about five yards a play. Aggies out there third down. 
thinking about five yards to go, four yards to go on this one. Bunch formation here. The receivers blitz. Got the ball off, caught, first down, still on his feet, and finally brought down near the 30-yard line. Deshaun Brimage, six-foot, 200-pound sophomore from Akron, Ohio, with the catch and the first down for the Aggies. Stevens with a quick reaction as the blitz came from that side. He knew that that's where the opening was going to be, where that defender had vacated. Took, one, took a shot to the midsection right as he let that one go. But completed the pass. Hand off inside. Across the 30-yard line for a short gain. That was another carry by Hamilton. Ball dropped, Stevens able to pick it up. Oh, he's gonna be drilled though. Just about the time he got there, got the ball picked up and set his feet. He was nailed in the backfield for a loss. And that's gonna make it third and very long for the Aggies. Fortunately, I don't have a name. Number 36 there. Third down, about 16 yards to go, maybe even 17. They may have drawn the defense off. He'll throw one out in the flats. Caught up to the 30 where he's brought down. That was caught by Stallones. They may take, they'll take the free five here, I'm sure. Seven, Dylan Montgomery, defensive end for Lions. Use the Aggies a free five, so it's third down and about 11 yards to go. They may have gotten him again. Ball's let go, caught! Looked like Brown had that. No, they'll say no. Looked like he had it, and then it came ripped out after he came down. Referees are discussing it now. Because it did look like he came down with it and then was tackled, and then the ball was jostled loose. Now they'll say incomplete pass. So it will be fourth down for the Aggies, and they're kind of in that territory where you go for it anyway. Too long for a field goal, too short for a punt. Play clock is already at five, and the Aggies are going to have to call a timeout. 12.48 left to play here in the first half. Panhandle State leads Lyon College 14 to six.
So fourth down and 11 for the Aggies. Ball is on the 32 yard line. There's a snap. Stevens back to pass. Let's one go over the middle. Off. An Aggie receiver's hands as Stallone's couldn't quite bring that one down. Ball turned over on downs back to the Scots with 12.44 left to play here in the first half. Shotgun formation, a couple of backs in the backfield, fakes the handoff, looking to throw, under pressure, escapes outside, lets one go down the sideline, it's caught in Aggie territory, steps out of bounds at the 43 yard line, first and 10 for the Scots. That was Horn with that catch. Line College, already in Aggie territory, trying to get a chance to even this one back up. Short carry by Jonathan Braswell. Several Aggies there to bring him down pretty quick, including number 93, Keyshawn Murphy. Freshman from Marshall, Texas. And they're a defensive tackle. There's a snap, Bradford back to pass, lets one go out to the outside, short, off the receiver's hands. No good, incomplete. Taylor there to make the tackle if he did catch it. Brought him down immediately. Third down, 10 yards to go for the Scots. Trips to the near side, empty backfield, two to the top side. Bradford back to pass, lets one go to his slot receiver. Horn, no good, so it'll be fourth down and 10. We'll see what Lions College does here. Looks like they're kind of where they're going to have to punt, they're that far out. They'll line up, looking like they're going to run an offensive play. We'll see here. Radford takes a snap, quick kick. He does let that one go. Bounds at the five and into the end zone touchback. It'll be Aggie ball at the 25-yard line with 11-16 left to play here in the first half. The Aggie offense out on the field. Here's the handoff. Cuts up inside. 
Gains about four on the play. That was Jones on the carry. He's come back in. Jones averaging over seven yards a carry today. He'll get another one. Uh, past the 25, the 30 still on his feet as he takes on blockers and brought down at the 32-yard line. That'll be enough for a first down for the Aggies. There's a snap, hand off to Jones again, up past the 35 yard line. They will mark him just past the 35, so it'll be second down, seven yards to go. Empty backfield, man in motion. They'll look to throw it to him out there in the flat. Avoids the first defender, avoids another. Up past the 40, the 30, 45, and finally brought down. Great running there by McCline. That play easily could have been stopped either for a short gain or even in the backfield. He did a great job avoiding the first defender, stiff arming the second. And then using his momentum to carry him forward against several other tacklers from Lyon College. Ball between the 47, 48 yard line. Quarterback keeps on the option. Steven spins away from the first tackler, spins away from another, and he'll be brought down maybe after a yard or two gain right at midfield, it looks like. He did a great job just not getting killed in the backfield for about a five-yard loss on that one. Defender came free. Stevens able to spin away. Second down, eight yards to go. Looks like they got the defense to jump. He may try to go deep. That ball tipped and falls incomplete as he tried to get the ball to Dixon. Actually, that was Brimage he was trying to get it to. Referees talking it over. And it is an offsides penalty, so free five yards for the Aggies. They've gotten Lions to jump about three times so far. Run right up the middle, and he is stuffed for a short loss as the Scott defense got through there and got to Jones just after he took the handoff. It'll be third down, about four yards to go. Trips to the near side, single receiver up top. They'll look to the sideline for the play call. Jones behind Stevens in the backfield. Handoff, straight up the middle. He gets a couple, but not enough for a first down. It'll be about two yards shy as he gained about two on the play. And looks like they will bring the Aggie punting team onto the field. It's 
Senecio, also the punter, lets one go, bounds at the 20, inside the 10, and brought down inside the five-yard line as McCline stops it from going into the end zone. Well, it'll be first and 10 for Lyon at the three-yard line. So great job. 6.59 left to play here in the first half. Aggies lead 14 to six. Looks like we may have The Aggies may have to punt it again as there is a penalty on the play. A five yard penalty, didn't quite catch what it was. The microphone on the ref messed up a little. So Senecio will kick again. Rush is on, able to get it off. Ball down there, bounds to about the 15 yard line. McCline down there to down it as it rolled out of bounds. So Lyon picked up about 12 yards from that penalty. 6.53 left to play here in the first half. Aggie still leading by eight. Man in motion across the formation. Hand off. Finds a hole up near the 20 yard line. We got a rugby scrum knocking him forward where he's finally brought down at about the 26 yard line. That'll be a first down for Lyon. Scott's back at the line quickly. Hand off again, and he's gonna be dropped in the backfield is just as soon as he got that handoff, he was met there. I believe that was McMillan on the tackle there. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Aggies come with a full out blitz, throw down the sideline, no good, incomplete, as he tried to get it to Horn. Dequavian Daniels on coverage. And it's gonna be third and 12, for the Aggies with an opportunity to get off the field get their offense back out there with some decent field position and a chance to add another score before the half. Bradford drops back to pass. He's got time, lets one go and it's intercepted. Stepping in front of that pass, Daquan Charles. With a beautiful read. The senior linebacker steps in and makes the play. Gives the ball back to the Aggie offense in plus territory with 5.27 left to play as they'll take over first and 10 at the 37 yard line. Stevens and Jones in the backfield, fakes the handoff. Stevens lets one go over the middle, just off the fingertips 
of Deshaun Brimage. He reached out, just couldn't quite bring that one in. Second down and 10. Aggies will bring a couple more receivers into the game. Jordan Jackson and Charge Hunt. They'll line up trips to the near side. Handoff, no fake handoff, throw outside. Caught by Hunt. He makes his way up to the 30 yard line. And he did a good job avoiding tacklers to even get that far. His line was on coverage pretty well there so it's going to be third down that'll help make it a little more manageable third down short seven to go you'd say may have gotten them to jump Stevens rolls out lets one go towards the sideline caught and pushed out of bounds is Jayshon Brown that's going to be enough for the first down. He's brought down, pushed out at about the 15 yard line. And of course the Aggies will decline that offsides penalty and it will be first and 10 for the Aggies. Ball placed at the 18 yard line. In motion, quick pitch to the receiver in motion. Finds a gap to the outside, trying to get to the corner and dragged out of bound near the five yard line as that was Hunt again with the ball. So first and goal, looks like they'll mark the ball down at the four yard line. 4.25 left to play, clock running in the first half. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to PTCI's YouTube channel. Not only do we have a lot of Aggie sports on here, but a lot of local high school sports throughout the Oklahoma Panhandle, even into the Texas Panhandle as well. Hand off to Jones, and he's near the goal line. Looks like they'll mark him just shy. He can't be more than a foot out. We also, besides high school and college sports here in the Oklahoma Panhandle, a little bit in the Texas Panhandle as well, we do cover a lot of our area towns events as well. So be sure to check that out. They filmed today the homecoming parade here in Aggieville. Hand off again. He's in this time easily. Jones in for the touchdown. Jones' second touchdown of the day. Senecio on to kick the extra point. Snap, hold, kick, all good. And the Aggies lead 21 to six with 326 left to play here in the first half. Senecio set to kick off. Here's 
the approach and the kick. This one will be returned, caught at the 10, dropped. Ball still on the ground, picks it up, up past the 20, the 25, and he'll be brought down there at the 24. The Aggie defense got a turnover in the last time they were out on the field. Can they give the offense one more opportunity here before halftime? Bradford takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls out to his right, lets one go out to Horn, up past the 30, and he'll lean forward to about the 32. So second down and about three yards to go. Snap, handoff, finds a hole. Good tackle at the ankles there. He might have had a huge gain. As that was Charles who made, made that tackle. Actually, that was Taylor who made it. First and 10, handoff again. And gonna be dragged down just shy of the 40. That was Braswell on the carry. Clock rolling just under two minutes left to play here in the first half. Snap, Bradford back to pass. Plenty of time, throws one over the middle, caught at the Aggie 45-yard line for a first down. Called by number 17, Xavier Long. Freshman, first and 10 at the Aggie 44-yard line. Empty backfield for Bradford. Drops back to pass again. Quick pass outside on the bubble screen. Dropped. That was Timothy Young Jr. that tried to hit on that one. Second down, 10 yards to go. 132 on the clock here in the first half. Aggies come to the line. Looks like they may be blitzing one. Line will look to the sideline for the play call. Aggies back up in the gaps. They'll back out, though. Ball caught short by Horn. Just past the 40 to the 39. And we've got a timeout on the field with 119 left to play. Panhandle State leads Lion College 21 to six. PTCI understands that the internet is important for everything and you are important to us. We built new fiber plans, including our best and fastest gig speed, now $84 off the regular price. And with symmetrical speeds, you'll be at top speed for important things like working from home, home security, live streaming, and gaming. Get the gig and you'll get Hulu on us and whole home Wi-Fi free for three months. Come to your PTCI store today. Call 800-562-2556 or visit us at ptci.net for details. Here. 
So back out of the timeout. Third down, three yards to go. Snap, fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Let's one go down the sideline. Back shoulder catch. Is made along the sideline. Aggie defense not too happy there. Felt like there was a push off. Offensive pass interference, but no call. That's going to be a first down at the 17 yard line. There's the snap back to Bradford. Looks to the same sideline. That one goes incomplete. 101 left on the first half clock. So second down and 10. And we've got a timeout on the field. Lion College calls it with 101 to play here in the first half. Panhandle State leads Lion College 21 to six. So back out on the field after the timeout, second down and 10 from the 12 yard line. Back to pass, tries to hit his man on the slant, knocked away. Nice defensive player by Isaiah Chisholm on that one, with 38. So third down and 10. Aggie's trying to at least limit Lyon to a field goal attempt here. Get a red zone stop. Empty backfield again, quarterback takes off, play blown dead before it gets going. And a delay of game penalty is going to bring it back five. So third and 10 now becomes third and 15 back at the between the 21 and the 22. So 57 seconds left here in the half. Third, 15 yards to go for the Scots. Aggies trying to get off the field here. Bradford back to pass. Under pressure, he's gonna be sacked! Back outside the 30 yard line. Bradford still on the field as he took a big shot from about three Aggies. As Kobe Geeter Amar Armani Williams was back there. And we've got a timeout on the field with 50 seconds left in the half. Panhandle leads 21 to six.
Michael Troxier, number 11, a redshirt sophomore, comes in at quarterback for the Scots. They'll go for it on fourth down. Back to pass. He'll escape out to his left, lets one go. He finds a man at the 15-yard line. That's going to be well short of the first down, though. And so turnover on down to the Aggies with 43 seconds left in the half. They'll take over first and 10, it looks like, at the 9-yard line. Probably just try to run out the clock here to end the half instead of taking any kind of chance of a turnover so deep in their territory. And they will line up just to take a knee. Got their safety valve back there. And really, looks like they'll have to snap it one more time as there's about a one second difference between the play clock and the game clock. There's Aggies doing this out of the pistol formation, kind of a dangerous spot to do it as far back as he is. Uh, but uh, looks like Lyon isn't going to try to, they don't have any timeouts left anyway, so they'll just have to snap it one more time. That will be it. And looks like they didn't even have to do that. We head to the half. The Oklahoma Panhandle State Aggies on homecoming lead the Lions Scots 21 to six. We'll be back with the second half. degree here at OPSU in 1972 with a degree in English. Dr. Ramon and Veloz were models of service and education to so many throughout their years here at Goodwill. All three of their children, their children's spouses, and their granddaughter are OPSU graduates. Their grandson is a current OPSU student. So on behalf of the Panhandle State Alumni Association and Friends, and Oklahoma Panhandle State University, we would like to say a big thank you to the Ramon family for your contributions and service to the university throughout the years. Ladies and gentlemen, our honored family for 2021, a round of applause for the Ramon family. Again, we thank them for all that they have done in the past and will continue to do in the future for Oklahoma Panhandle State University. If you'll keep your attention directed at midfield, we would like to introduce our OPSU 2021 homecoming king and queen. They were crowned at last night's pep rally and coronation. So congratulations to your 2021 queen, 
Judah Sosa. And your 2021 King, Giannis Sabin. We would also like to say a big congratulations to all of our homecoming court and nominees for doing a great job and to Hannah, Amber, and everybody behind the scenes who did a great job of getting things organized for last night's pep rally. Gang, congratulations. While we have this photo opportunity, our next presentation on the field for this afternoon is our OPSU Aggie Marching Band under the direction of Ms. Sharla Lewis. The marching band will perform three Bon Jovi hits from their Slippery One Wet album. The first Living on a Prayer was released in 1986 and went to number one. So ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome to the field for Living on a Prayer from Bon Jovi, your OPSU Spirit Band. Now for their next hit, they pay homage to John Bon Jovi's admiration for the Old West heroes and compares their lifestyle, the life sound to rock bands. Wanted Dead or Alive peaked at number seven on the Billboard charts and became their signature song. This arrangement includes percussion effects shared throughout the band. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Wanted Dead or Alive. Ha uh ha -huh. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, for their final chair topper, giving Bon Jovi their first number one hit. This song was written about a woman that jilted her lover and was written in a basement in one day. So here for their final number, our Aggie marching band is You Give Love a Bad Name. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your OPSU marching band. Since 1954, PTCI has been serving Oklahoma Panhandle residents and businesses and fulfilling PTCI understands that the internet is important for everything, and you are important to us. We built new fiber plans, including our best and fastest gig speed, now $84 off the regular price. And with symmetrical speeds, you'll be at top speed for important things like working from home, home security, live streaming, and gaming. Get the gig and you'll get Hulu on us and whole home Wi-Fi free for three months. Come to your PTCI store today. Call 800-562-2556 or visit us at ptci.net for details.
individual statistics. For the Aggies, as we mentioned, Stevenson, 11 of 15 for 159 yards, a touchdown. He's been sacked once. Aggies leading receiver is number 18, LaPrinston Dixon, who got it going early. He had the first big reception on the first play. He's got four for 63 yards. Jalen Partita has one catch for 36 yards and a touchdown. Jones is the leading, Jamalrian Jones is the leading rusher as he's carried the ball 10 times for 43 yards and a touchdown. And Stevens, the quarterback, also rushed one time for a four yard touchdown. Actually, he's rushed four times for 12 yards and as long as nine. So we are ready. For the kickoff, Aggies will receive. It's Stallone's and also McCline back deep. Ball goes through the end zone. It'll be first and 10 for the Aggies at the 25 yard line, trying to increase this lead. Already up 21 to 6. The Aggies can hold on here and win this one. They'll even up their Sooner Athletic Conference record at two apiece. So first play, they'll go empty backfield. Trips to the top of the formation. Now Jones will go into the backfield position. Fakes the handoff, quick throw outside, caught by Stallone's up past the 30 and pushed out of bounds at about the 32 yard line. So a nice first down get. A second and four. Actually second down and three. Two backs in the backfield now. Handoff. To Jones trying to find a gap. Can't really find one. Maybe gained a yard on the play. So it will be third down, two yards to go. Looking to the sideline, play clock now under at six. Turns, hands off to Jones, finds an opening over here on the right. Past the 40 as he powers forward to the 42 yard line. That's gonna be enough for a first down. Hamilton now in the backfield with Stevens. Fakes, takes the handoff actually. Goes airborne and he was undercut. Falls forward past the 45. He'll mark him just shy of the 45. So second down, seven yards to go. Jones back in the game as well as Rodriguez at tight end. El Paso, one of the more common towns on the Aggie rosters. They've got multiple players out of the El Paso, El Paso area. Rodriguez comes in motion, hand off to Jones. He'll follow his blockers on the pull, and he's brought down at the 50-yard line. But a nice gain. It'll bring up third down and about two yards to go. Up 
following his big guard, Tracy Dodd. 325 pounds of him clearing the way. Play clock at five. Jones in motion. There's a snap. Fakes the handoff. Stevens keeps it to the left. And he's got a first down in Lion territory at the 46-yard line. First and 10 for the Aggies in Scott territory. This is their first drive of the second half. Trying to add to their 15 point lead. Man in motion, fakes it there, throws it deep. Caught by Brown, gets past the first defender, stumbles, still on his feet, breaks away from another inside the five before he's brought down. Just a beautiful catch and run there by Jason Brown. Just refused to go down. And it's going to be first and goal for the Aggies. And we do have an injured Lion player on the field. So we'll take a timeout here. 10.53 left to play in the third quarter. Aggies are threatening again, already leading 21-6. TCI understands that the internet is important for everything, and you are important to us. We built new fiber plans, including our best and fastest gig speed, now $84 off the regular price. And with symmetrical speeds, you'll be at top speed for important things like working from home, home security, live streaming, and gaming. Get the gig and you'll get Hulu on us and whole home Wi-Fi free for three months. Come to your PTCI store today. Call 800-562-2556 or visit us at ptci.net for details. like the injured player is able to get off on his own, so he'll be okay. Two backs in the backfield with Stevens. Man in motion across the formation. There's a snap, handoff to Jones, cuts back to the right, and he's met immediately and dropped right away. It may have been a yard loss back at the five. So second down and goal from the five now. So Jones to the left of Stevens, two splits to each side. Man in motion, quick flip to him, cuts it up inside and he's gonna be tackled right there at the five. So no gain on that play. Is Charge Hunt. Trying to find an opening in there, so. Third down and goal. Lion College defense is stiffened on these first two plays. The Aggies in a goal to go situation. Jones moves to the right of Stevens. Bunch formation to the right on the trips. Quarterback keeps it, he's gonna be dropped. Kept it on the read option. And a late flag, that's gonna be a personal foul, I think, on Lyon College that's gonna give the Aggies a first down. Had him, had them stopped for a loss. It was gonna be fourth down. That's called on number 31, Hunter Ballard. 
and that's an automatic first down for the Aggies. Ball moved back up to about the four, really where the drive started from the beginning. So pistol formation turn, hand off to Jones. There's a bunch there, and he's gonna be dropped for a loss. Looks like maybe all the way back at the six yard line or at least outside the five. The Aggies able to get down there on this first drive, but boy, they are struggling in this goal to go situation. Lion playing obviously with your backs to the goal line, playing a little more of aggressive style and it's, it's allowed them to get some stops here. Stevens looking to keep it to the left, finds an opening and gonna be dragged down, but gets just inside the five to about the four. And once again, it's gonna be third and goal for the Aggies. Looks like the Aggies are going to go with a heavy package here. One split to each side. They bring in an extra tight end and a fullback. And we've got a timeout on the field with three seconds on the play clock. Look like the Aggies called a timeout. 7.33 left to play here in the third quarter. Aggies threatening to score. They lead 21 to six here in the third quarter. TCI understands that the internet is important for everything, and you are important to us. We built new fiber plans, including our best and fastest gig speed, now $84 off the regular price. And with symmetrical speeds, you'll be at top speed for important things like working from home, home security, live streaming, and gaming. Get the gig and you'll get Hulu on us and whole home Wi-Fi free for three months. Come to your PTCI store today. Call 800-562-2556 or visit us at ptci.net for details. Both teams back out on the field. Four, third and goal from the four yard line. Aggies got a new set of downs after a late hit on online college. Fakes it, looks to throw. He'll roll out to his right now. Let's one go towards the end zone. It's batted down by one of the defensive backs. Lion College and it looks like the Aggies We'll have to settle for a field goal. And that's gotta be seen as a win for Lyon College after first and goal from the four for the Aggies and they get six plays. They're gonna have to settle for a field goal on the seventh. Senesio in once again. And he is the kicker, punter, everything. Aggies having to run one more out there. They've still got time though. There's a the snap, the hold, the kick is up. Off the post, no good. So Lion College has to feel a little bit of a momentum swing there. As like we mentioned, first and goal, six plays. Starting with at the four yard line and the Aggies come away empty with no points. Here's the handoff on first down. Quickly brought down. Daniels 
in on the tackle. As well as Taylor after a short gain of about three yards. Second down, seven yards to go. Bradford back to pass, not to Braswell. Or Bradley, Bradley D, I mean, on the catch and carry. He carried on the previous play, a rushing play there. So third down. Third down at about three yards to go. Here's a snap, they handed it off, and the Aggie defense shuts it down. A loss of about a yard or so. Looks like they'll mark him down at the 26, and that's gonna force the Scots to punt, so good defense there by the Aggies. They should get decent field position. We've got a timeout on the field. 5.30 left to play in the third quarter. It's OPSU 21, Lion College 6. Low snap, picks it up, gets it off in time. That one will bound well for the Scots. Well, all the way inside the 10 as it just keeps rolling. Down to the seven yard line. There is a flag on the field, a couple of them actually. This may be in the area of holding. Looks like possibly penalty is on Lyon College as they are talking to Coach Majeski about his options. Looks like. And they're going to force Lyon College to re kick as they'll take the penalty. And it was a holding call on the Scots. And so that. Bad field position that the Aggies had. They may be able to avoid that here.
they will re-kick from about the repunt from about the 16 yard line. That snap was pretty good. Oh, and a terrible kick as he shanked that one. Caught on the Aggie sideline. We'll have to see where the referees mark that. And the Aggies will take over in Lion territory at the 38-yard line. First and 10 with 5.09 still to play, or 5.04 still to play here in the third quarter. Aggie offense back out on the field. Stevens and Jones in the backfield. Man in motion. Fakes a handoff, quick throw outside. Spins loose. He's got past the 30 and finally pushed out of bounds about the 25. As that was Hunt who came in motion. And caught that one out in the flats. So first and 10 for the Aggies. That ball is marked at about the, just inside the 25, at about the 24. Trips to the near side, single receiver up top. Hand off to Jones, finds an opening, spins, and brought, finally brought down at about the 10-yard line. We're going to have another Aggie first down. And they did mark the ball just inside the 10. So it will be first and goal. This is where the Aggie drive, their last drive bogged down was when they got in this goal to go situation and the Scots got a little more aggressive. Hunt in motion, defender came across. That's gonna be a free, free five there. Or close to five, it'll be half the distance. The Aggies with the ball just inside the five. This is where they had it on their last drive as well. See if they can get some points this time out of it. Hunt in motion again. Fakes the handoff. Stevens throws it outside to Hunt again. It was well covered, though, this time. Incomplete. Second down. Goal to go. Aggies with a couple of backs in the backfield. Hand off to Jones, found a little space, but he's gonna be wrangled backwards. Looks like he made it up to about the four, maybe slightly inside of that, but not all the way to the three. So once again, Lion College stiffening here in this goal to go situation and the Aggies struggling to find the opening to get in that end zone again. Jones to the left of Stevens. He'll motion out. They'll throw it to him out in the flat. Finds an opening, dives forward. Still haven't seen a signal. He's in for the touchdown. There is a flag on the play. And a 
holding call is going to be called there on Jalen Partita. That's going to negate that touchdown or bring the ball back 10 yards. So the Aggies facing a third and goal situation. Ball at the 13 yard line. Two splits to each side. Jones motions out again. Stevens under pressure. He'll release out to the right. Let's one go towards the end zone. Touchdown Aggies! Clayton Stallones with the catch. Senesio lines up for the kick. And it is good. 2.38 left to play in the third. Panhandle State now leads Lyon College 28 to 6. Nessio putting the ball on the tee, getting set to kick off again for the Aggies. And for the second time today, the ball blows off the tee. They have to go set it again. Give him one more opportunity. If it blows off again, they'll make a holder come out, and it did. So they'll bring Thomas Sinclair Jr. out to hold it. the kick, high end over end kick, caught near the 10 yard line, up to the 20, 25, and he's gonna be brought down about the 26. Several Aggies there for the tackle. So first and 10 for the Scots at the 26 yard line. Was Jamalrian Jones, the running back, who actually caught that last touchdown pass. And Stallone's on that, but that has been corrected there. And a delay of game penalty on Lyon College will move them back five. Aggies really dominating the time of possession today. 39-38 to 16-25. Radford, quick pass out on the trip side, the near side. Short gain. So 
Looks like they'll, it'll only be a gain of about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. So second down, nine yards to go. Bunch formation out of the trips lineup on the near side. Nobody on the top side. Handoff. Back to the short side. Breaks a tackle up past the 40. Finally drug out of bounds near the 45. There's Jonathan Braswell, just 5'8", 160 pounds, able to bust through those first couple of tackles and get a Scott's first down. Bradford fakes the handoff, rolls out to his right, under pressure, lets one go. Oh, through the hands of the Aggie defender. As Isaiah Chisholm had a, a pick, a gift of a pick land right in his hands, but went right through it. Well, second down and 10. Trips to the top side. Two receivers on the near side. The empty backfield. Bradford back to pass. Let's one go on the sideline. Caught up past midfield and brought down. Looks like they'll mark him in Aggie territory at the 47. That was Xavier Long with the catch. Third down. Three yards to go. And we are under a minute left to play here in the third quarter. Bradford rolls out to his right, loses control of the ball. Aggies caught it, one of the def defensive linemen catches it for the interception. Flags flying late as there's a scrum afterwards. Cameron Dickerson, I believe, is the one who caught that as the ball just slipped right out of the quarterback's hand, floated in the air, and Dickerson came away with it. Aggies. Have it first and 10 in Lion territory with 38 seconds left in the quarter. And a personal foul penalty to add on to it as well is going to bring them 15 yards closer. They'll mark it down at the 25 yard line. So Aggies in prime position again to add to the score. And in motion, they'll pitch it back to him. He's looking to throw. He's under pressure though, and gonna be sacked. As that was Tucker Williams they had brought in. One of their other quarterbacks, a six foot two, 200 pound freshman. A little bit of a trick play, did not work for the Aggies this time. Out to bring the ball back to the 30 yard line. So second down, about 15 yards to go. And that'll probably be the last play of the half as the Clock now at seven seconds left, so the Aggies will just let that run out. And we are headed to the fourth quarter. Panhandle State leads Lion College 28 to six. We'll be back with the fourth quarter.
TCI understands that the internet is important for everything, and you are important to us. We built new fiber plans including our best and fastest gig speed, now $84 off the regular price. And with symmetrical speeds, you'll be at top speed for important things like working from home, home security, live streaming, and gaming. Get the gig and you'll get Hulu on us and whole home Wi-Fi free for three months. Come to your PTCI store today. Call 800-562-2556 or visit us at ptci.net for details. And here we go with the fourth quarter. Stevens and Jones in the backfield. Hunt in motion. Fakes the handoff, throws it deep. He's got a man open out there. Touchdown catch by Deshaun Brimage. Able to bring that one in. Beautiful pass from Stevens. And just like that, first play of the fourth quarter, the Aggies put another one in the end zone. was a flag on the play. And it is a sideline warning on OPSU. Of course, that first one, you get a warning, so no penalty will negate that touchdown. Senesio back out on the field. Snap good, hold good, kick is up, and it is good. Just four seconds into the fourth quarter and the Aggies are back on the board, leading 35 to six over Lyon College. Getting things sorted out. They've got everything out there except for the ball or the kickoff. Aggies with 387 yards of offense today, averaging 7.3 yards per play. Lions College with 230 yards, averaging a little over five. There's the kickoff, end over end kick. Will be caught at the one. He'll bring it up to the 15, the 20, finds a little gap, but brought down shy of the 25 by Andrea Costanzi. And we've got some tempers out on the field. Vaughn is pulled away from the situation there. He's had some chatter out there 
from his cornerback position with some of the Scots players. We've got an injured Aggie on the field as well. And that's one thing we... Thomas Sinclair Jr. was the injured Aggie. He's able to walk himself off. He does look a little ginger. Gingerly he's walking off. And there is a personal foul penalty on that play against Panhandle State. That moves the ball up to the 39 yard line. That's where the Scots will have it first. And 10. Bradford takes the snap, fakes the handoff. He looks to run to his left. Ball's loose on the ground. Scott's fall on it. Back at the 36 yard line. For the left guard, number 70, Jacob Four, able to fall on that before any of the Aggie defenders could. The so second down and long. Hand off, and he's going to be dropped in the backfield, busting through there right away. Kobe Geeter was the first man there, and it's going to be third and even longer. Scott's line up, trips to the near side, the wide side of the formation, single receiver up top. Aggie's just bringing three on the rush. Almost got there though. Let's one go on the sideline through his receiver's hands. And a late hit is gonna give the Lions a first down as Bradford was drilled to the ground late. Roughing the passer called on Dickinson. On Dickerson. And so 30 yards of this drive have all come on penalties as the ball will be marked at the 49 yard line. Aggies with a pair of personal foul penalties Obviously, that was third and 15. It would have given the ball. They would have punted and given the ball back to the Aggies. The Aggies have got to get their emotions under, under control. You're up 35 to 6. Don't hit late and don't, don't get in a fight. It'll only cost you. Back to pass. Looks down the seam route. Knocked away by the Aggie defense as that was Jaquavian, Jaquavian Daniels on the defense there. Perfectly positioned. It was a well thrown ball, but Daniels with just great coverage. Second down and 10. Here's a snap. Bradford's a quick throw outside. Too wide for his receiver. So it's going to be third down and 10. So 
Third down and 10. Play clock down to two. Snap just with one second left. Back to pass, lets one go outside route. And too long, well covered again by Daniels. And it's gonna be fourth down to 10. And the Lion College will bring out their punting unit. Acosta back deep to receive the punt. Almost blocked there. That one goes out of bounds. We'll have to see where they mark it, but Tucker Williams got back there and had a chance. Ball will be out of bounds at the 15 yard line. That's where the Aggies will have it. First and 10 with 13.08 left here in the contest, leading 35 to six. Nice day to day with this first start of the season. 16 of 22 completed almost 73% of his passes for 265 yards and a couple of touchdowns. That one caught over the middle and finally brought down just past the 40 yard line. Is Partita first and 10 at the 42 yard line. Nice throw and catch and run after as well. Able to draw the defense offside, quick throw, but they blew the play dead. It could indicate it maybe was on the offense or defender was unimpeded to the quarterback. Looks like they may be calling this one on the Aggies. Let you know, Aggies next game, they'll be on the road at Louisiana College on October the 2nd. They'll play at two o'clock. And here is the call. And it was offsides on Lion College, so free five for the Aggies. It'll be first and five. From the 47 yard line. Aggies next home game will be against Wayland Baptist on October 9th at 2 p.m. So make sure to make your way out for that one as well. We'll also have it if you can't here on PTCI. Quick throw again. Caught once again up into Lion territory at the 43. As Partita catches that one again, and it's one of those where if they're not going to cover the slot receiver up close, they're just going to quick throw it out there and get 10, 10 yards or so every time. Clock now under 12 minutes to play. And on this drive, I missed that, but number two, Casey Crandall had come in to quarterback, throws it out again to Partita, and avoids one defender, maybe got a yard on that one. It looks like he did up to the 42. He's using as much play clock as possible, down to five. There's a snap, handoff straight up the field. Still fighting forward, finally brought down at the 36-yard line. And 
Malik Hamilton on the carry. So third down, one, two, three yards to go for the first down. So Crandall in the pistol, back out. He'll take off on a quarterback keeper, finds an opening. And he's all the way inside the 30-yard line for another Aggie first down. Chains keep moving, clock keeps running. And we've got an injured Scott player on the field. 10-11 left to play here in the contest. Aggies lead 35-6. TCI understands that the internet is important for everything, and you are important to us. We built new fiber plans, including our best and fastest gig speed, now $84 off the regular price. And with symmetrical speeds, you'll be at top speed for important things like working from home, home security, live streaming, and gaming. Get the gig and you'll get Hulu on us and whole home Wi-Fi free for three months. Come to your PTCI store today. Call 800-562-2556 or visit us at ptci.net for details. Injured player there for Lyon. Limps off the field, able to get himself off, but not able to put any pressure on that right leg. Aggie offense back out on the field first and 10 from the 29 yard line. Under 10 minutes left to play in this one. Quarterback keeper cuts back to the right, cuts inside the defender down to the 20 yard line. So a nice gain on first down. The second down at about a yard to go. And that's going to be an offsides call, or I mean, a illegal motion. Artita took off, took off a little too fast. I think he saw those defenders move, and of course he's a wide out, so he doesn't get the uh, same thing that those linemen get, where if a guy lined up over the top of you moves. Still going to be on the defense. The defense can't draw you off. So, second down and six. Once again, Hamilton in the backfield with Crandall. Crandall quick throw outside, incomplete. Flag on the play. Legal formation called on the Aggies, so they'll move back another five. So instead of second and one, they went to second and six. Now it's second down and 11 yards to go on the back-to-back -back penalties. Clock sits at 8.55 right now. Quarterback keeper, and he's going to be brought down for a loss back at the 31-yard line. So it's going to be third down and 12 yards to go. But the clock is running. And with this lead, that's what the Aggies want more than anything. There's a snap, Crandall back to pass, lets one go over the middle. Wide open receiver, but he threw it on the backside. He had to spin, Hunt was there, couldn't quite bring it in. 
And that's going to bring up fourth down. So Senecio will come out and attempt a field goal. This one will be from 48 yards out. The way he's been drilling that scoreboard on the extra points, he's got a chance. That one blocked. Ball loose and covered by Lyon College at their own 46-yard line. So the low trajectory and the good push by the Scots negates any field goal. 8.06 left here in the contest. Aggie still leading by 29. They'll line up shotgun formation. Option to the wide side pitch. Ball loose on the ground. Aggies have it. Dickerson picks it up, still running with it. And he's going to be brought down near the 30-yard line. Aggies get it right back, first and 10 in Scott's territory at the 31. Takes a snape, fact, fakes the handoff. Oh, that one almost intercepted as he tried to hit, hit Hunt on the deep, deep post pattern. But that one went right through the hands of Jalen Kelly, the freshman cornerback. Second down and ten. There's a snap, hand off to Hamilton, has to bounce it outside, and he's gonna be dropped for a loss. There's just way too many defenders there. Loses about two yards on the play and did a good job to, to just lose two. So third down and 12 yards to go as the Aggies once again in a bad situation here. Throw over the middle, that one tipped, intercepted at the 15 yard line and it'll be brought down at about the 20. So back to back picks by each team and the Scots have the ball at the 20 yard line with 7.03 to play. Aggies leading 35 to six. Scott's offense back out there. Snap looks to throw, throws it to the back out in the flat. Gains a couple yards before he's brought down. As that was number 21, Nathan Alvarado, another El Paso player who brought him down. Sophomore. Aggies bringing some of their subs into the game here on this defensive possession, or de defensive uh, 
That one caught up near the 35, so it'll be a first down for the Scots. Devontae White with the catch. Troxler, the quarterback for Lyon. There's a snap. He'll keep it to the wide side. Able to get away from the first defender, but hit near the sideline. Big hit there by Arquez Dixon. And they threw a flag on that one. Not sure what the call was there. He clearly hit him in bounds. Didn't lead with the crown of the helmet. And it will be, and they'll call a late hit on him. 15 yard penalty will move it into Aggie territory, but uh, he definitely still had a foot in bounds um, when he was hit. So first and 10 for the Scots at the Aggie 48 yard line. Under six minutes to play, handoff inside. Brought down after a short gain. Number 52, Alex Holguin. Freshman out of El Paso. First man there, or made the tackle. First man there was number 99, Name McMillan. Also out of Miami, Florida, we mentioned earlier. Handoff. Finds an opening, still on his feet inside the 35 yard line for a first down at about the 34. And an injured Aggie on the field. Clock stops with 5.15 to play. It's Panhandle 35, Lion 6. Majeski kind of making some tough decisions here. He doesn't want to let Lyon just move the ball down the field, but at the same time, leading 35 to 6, you don't want to have your starters out there and have them get hurt. Quick throw outside in the flat. Spun down after maybe a yard or two yard gain. It'll be second down, eight yards to go. Trips to the near side. Hand off to the running back that way. Finds a gap up inside the 25 and brought down at about the 22 yard line. So first and 10, four line college. Four and a half left to play. High snap, able to get the handoff. Boom, a hit in the gap there as Geeter came in there and ended that play in a hurry. No gain, second down, 10 yards to go. Now under four to play. And off and oh, he's gonna be blown up in the backfield back by the 25 yard line. Geeter there again. He 
He's had enough of that inside handoff, gashing the Aggies for big yards on this drive. So third to about 14, 15 yards to go here. Call it 14. Here's a snap back to pass. Has to escape out to his right. He's got room to run. Avoids the first defender at the 15, the 10, and pushed out of bounds there near the 10 yard line. They'll say at the nine, so that's going to be first and goal for the for the Scots. Two split to each side, a back to his right. There's a snap, fakes a handoff, throws out in the flat. And referee says that one is caught for about a two yard gain. No referee from the back says it hit the turf. So incomplete, probably better for Lyon College as that does stop the clock and it was only about a two yard gain. 226 left to play. Barring a miracle of miracles, the Aggies will improve to two and three and two and two in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Quarterback rolls out to his left, looking to run. He's at the five, dives forward. Ball came loose. It may have gone out of bounds out the end zone. That would be a touchback. We'll see where they, they'll say it fumbled out inbound or went out before it went through the end zone. So ball just shy of the goal line. It's third and goal from Inches outside of it. Quarterback sneak, and it's stifled, it looks like. Doesn't look like he made it. So the Aggies stopped them there. It will be fourth down here. Can the Aggies stop them from just inches outside of the goal line here? Clock nearing a minute 30 left to play. Quarterback back under center, he'll hand it off. No, he's gonna be shut off the Aggie defense. What a push. And the Aggies take over on downs with just a monstrous goal line stand on those last two plays with 1.21 left to play. So as the Aggie offense makes it back out there, just a reminder, if you haven't already, subscribe to our PTCI's YouTube channel We'll have a lot of Aggie athletics on here. Also, we'll have high school sports through the Oklahoma Panhandle and our Texas towns as well. And a lot of different events that go on in the communities that we cover. Hand off, ball out to about the four. And that's all the Aggies want right now. They want that clock running so they can claim this victory. I believe that was Hamilton on the carry as he gains about a yard, yard and a half. Second down, nine yards to go. Play clock now at three. Hand off again to Hamilton. Squirts his way past the five yard line. And we're under 30 seconds and I think that's gonna be it. Last play of the game. Panhandle State improves to two and three overall. Two and two in the Sooner Athletic Conference.
with this 35 to six win over Lyon College. Final seconds ticking off. Want to remind you again, the Aggies will be on the road for their next contest. Next Saturday, they'll be at Louisiana College on October the 2nd at 2 p.m. Next home game, Wayland Baptist, October 9th at 2 p.m. right here on Carl Wooten Field at Anchor D Stadium. Folks, come on out. If you haven't been over here for Aggie football, it's a lot of fun. There's plenty of tailgate food. Bring your family. We had Seaboard over there cooking pork burgers, several other people cooking, groups cooking brats and tacos and just uh, all kinds of good food free of charge. And so you can come out and good, have a good family, family fun time here and enjoy the Aggie football experience. So for PTCI and for Oklahoma Panhandle State University Athletics, we thank you for joining us here today. And just like every day, today's a good day to be an Aggie.